Hello everyone! I hope we're all keeping safe, staying indoors and building model kits. Joel here from the Hangar Bay, bringing you March 2020's Premium Bondi delivery. Not a whole lot has come in this month, but there are some cool kits, so I hope you come check them out with me. So first up we have the HG RGM79G Gym Ground Type Slave Wraith Team Custom Parachute Pack, which is quite the mouthful. It's something that comes that goes along with these two guys. This guy should be in the Fred Reber colors. Um, I don't currently have any Fred Reber's available, but that's the regular Pixie. So that's three as a team. If you're wanting to complete that set, this kit is mostly just this guy. Except the head is different, the chest is a bit different. It's just the gym ground type, and it also comes with the parachute pack, which was only something that's available with premium one light kits. This one I have opened up the plastic seals. Interesting thing here is also the backpack part, I believe is different from the regular gym ground type. It's actually an extension of the Slave Wraith runner. This was the unique runner that came with Slave Wraith, cuts parts cut off, and you can see here how the runner just fits in with everything else. So that's that whole plate in the whole entirety. Aside from that, mm, it's got the extra weapons, more weapons than comes with the uh, with the Slave Wraith, the regular one, because it's got the missile launcher and the bazooka, or the rocket launcher. So that's a really cool kit. If you want to complete the team, add that on. This box is actually a fair bit bigger than the Slave Wraith because it is, uh, because it is it has the extra weapons included with it. So this thing's a little bit more expensive, but still a cool kit and something to complete the team. If you're, well, if you want to have a complete slave wraith team, gym ground type slave wraith, slave wraith team custom. HG MS zero eight TX Doug Schneid's free. So this is sort of another one that comes with that, that fits in with the other kits that we saw previously. It's also from Missing Link. Uh, this one I haven't opened up. This is mostly just the base of free that we've seen previously. Um, the original one was the Ifrit Schneid, which was a retail kit, and then they had the Ifrit Custom, the Nacht, then the regular Ifrit, now this one. This one is mostly just the regular Ifrit, except it has the addition of basically these plates here. So it's got the gigantic axe, because it is a melee specialist mobile suit. I don't have so it's split on that, which is. And then it has the uh, wrist connections for fitting the, the three barrel cannon that we normally see on something like a goof, I believe. So that's really cool. Unfortunately, it only has sticker marking, as is typical for most HGs. It's got the Mar Marchiosis or Marchiosis squad emblem there. I'm hoping something like Delpy Decal will have, or Bandai itself will have that available as a water slide, because it'll look really cool when everything is all put together, along with say the slave race markings. Yeah, aside from that, uh, the group, cool kit. This box again is a little bit bigger because of the extra weapons that come with it. But yeah, it is fairly popular, so please check that out. I do have a few remaining in stock from this shipment, so that should be available to ship out by the time you're watching this. HG Doug Schneid's Ifri. HG RGM 79 HG Gym Guard Custom with E2 Beam Spray Gun. Another long mouthful due to the extra options with it. So this is a continuation of the Origin line. Previously we've seen the Gym Sniper Custom with the Missile Launcher set. And now we see this one, which is a Gym Guard Custom. This is a fair bit different from the retail kit. This plate is a new plate for the kit. You'll see that the chest parts are replaced. It also has the additional E2 beam spray gun weapon. And then it also has shoulder organs on it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, waist is also changed. And then this runner is also different. This section here has been opened up, so you've got to have open palms and a left hand trigger figure that's also available on this runner. I believe this left hand trigger finger is also not on the Gym Sniper Custom. It's also the same set of joints that's available with this kit, this is the uh, Gundam the Origin version. Uh, a slightly different colour for that, but it's identical. These joints are the same. It's a really cool joint system. Uh, these are a little bit different on the Origin because it's on a track. But uh, that one I don't sell, but I do sell this one. There's a few left in stock. It's a really great kit. Uh, 
you also look at this. This is the runner from the Gym Sniper Custom with Missile Launcher. And you see that how this fits into the grand scheme of things. That's a complete set there. So that's pretty cool. Um, next in the origin line is the Desert Type Zaku. So that's coming in May. In the meantime, we've got this. Great um, premium Monday, the origin kits. Gym Intercept, Gym Sniper Custom with Missile Launcher and this Gym Guard, Custom with E2B Spray Gun. They're all great kits. I, I do thoroughly recommend checking them out if you're a fan of HGs. HG Gym, Gym Guard Custom with E2B Spray Gun. And finally we have the MG Mission Pack B-Type and K-Type for F90 Gundam, which is this guy here. This is the current, well in my opinion this is the best of the uh, mission packs that we currently have available at retail oh not at retail currently available in our hands that we can actually build the i type for the f92 is available for pre-order and i have that on order so you can check that one out this mission pack is also compatible with the i type oh sorry not the i the f92 which comes with the i type that comes as a set also the I type mission packs are also compatible with the F90, so you can mix and match with that. Unfortunately, this own, the only way to get the uh, F92 is with the I type. So there's no base kit. Either. Nice set of water slides with the kit. Nice unique beam shield effect for the K type. The bombard type, really, really awesome in my opinion. Got the really great missile launchers on that. Uh, number of stickers is very minimal. Just some uh, metallics to fill out the missiles on that. Really great kit. I will probably do this one up when I paint it and put on the B pack because I think that looks really cool. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to play dress up jollies with your F90s, that's definitely an option for you. Really cool kits, well, really cool packs for the F90. F90 is a great kit, so yeah, thoroughly recommend that. Yeah. MG mission packs B type and K type for Gundam F90. So, coming up next month, we have the HG Vargirl. Finally, finally we're going to be seeing that in our hands. Unfortunately, I'm not currently taking pre-orders for that kit because it's only available for April, which is the first wave. I am certain that there's going to be a second wave available and when Bandai do make their pre-orders available for that, I will be ordering from that lot and have it again available on the site. I suspect that's probably going to be June, but we don't know yet until it rolls over. We also have the uh, MG slash Zaku Phantom Isaac Jewel or Isaac Jewel Custom. So that's a really cool kit. The uh, slash Zaku Phantom is really really great. Well, we don't know. Well, the Zaku the the um the Gunner type, so Luna Maria's version. That was a really great kit, and that's built from that core. So. I have high expectations for that. I'm looking forward to when that arrives. The MG Death Sight Rosette. So continuing on with the Glory of the Losers line. We've previously seen the Eagle type and the Shenlong Liaoya. Now we have the Death Sight Rosette. Expect to see a Tolgis Flugel later down the line. And then the Sandrock Armadillo. I'm not sure which one will come first, but we, I guess we'll see very soon. And then we have the HG Zeta Plus A1 test image color. So this is sort of a new kit and sort of not. This was previously available as an Expo exclusive. However, that version came with stickers. This new premium Bondi version comes with a set of water slides. So if you missed out on the Expo version, this is something definitely to check out because it's got the cool uh, Amaro themed water slides would come with it, so I'm sort of looking forward to that. We also have some anticip long anticipated, well, long desirable or highly desirable reissues coming. So we have the HG Zeta Plus C1 type, so that's the Gundam Sentimental version of that, so that's something to go along with the Zeta Plus A1. We also have the HG Gyan Krieger, which is something I've had in the past, I'm sold out on, but now we're getting more, and that's very popular, so you might want to pre-order that ahead of schedule. Anyhow, if you're interested in anything that you've seen in this video, if you've seen anything that's up and coming, uh, I do, like I said, have the F92 high type available for pre-order on the site. 
please check me out at thehangarbay.co. The link is in the description. If you're stuck inside and building stuff, please post your stuff to Instagram. Tag me. Let me know what's going on. I'd love to see what you're building. I'm going to try and get some additional building done myself when I get all this stuff shipped out. So follow me there to see some of that and what's going on there. Uh, Twitter, I'll try to post information that I find out about the kits, like information on the runners that I've shown in the video. That's all that. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Please leave a like below and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.